Question 18. So this question is about hybrid functions. It's something that you will have done in year 11 um, and probably as part of your assignment earlier in term one. So um, hopefully that is some knowledge that you recall. But the question is asking you to consider the differentiability of that particular type of function. You'll see the functions chosen are reasonably simple. I just want to draw your attention to one thing that the uh, question did have a slight mistake in it, which may be what is causing some people some problems. There should have, of course, been a plus 2 in the question, and as you will have seen if you looked at the answers in your answer booklet, the plus 2 is there. So if we're looking at whether a function is differentiable and continuous, well, let's just first of all discuss that in terms of two purely made up functions. So the first one is a cubic function and it goes up to the point x equals 2 so let's say it finishes there okay and here is my dotted line to represent x equals 2 now the cubic function finishes there and the quadratic function starts there so let's imagine the quadratic function look like this okay so we've got restricted domains in both cases and you'll see that the quadratic function starts where the cubic function ends and that fulfills this continuous requirement. What it clearly doesn't fulfill is a differentiable requirement because if we took both the gradient functions here, you would see that the first gradient leading up to here is positive and then the gradient leading away in the quadratic is negative and it's an instant change because it makes a sharp corner. So that wouldn't be differentiable because the gradient functions wouldn't match on the line x equals two. So we're looking for a function, an a and a b value, that will give it differentiability and continuity as a function. So we're looking to match those two in terms of the original function and the first order derivative. And that actually means we're going to create some simultaneous equations to work with. So let's do this question now. First of all, we have h of x at x equals 2 for the continuity is going to give us these two functions. We have h of 2 is equal to a times 2 cubed, which is equal to 8a. And h of 2 has to also be equal to b times 2 minus 1 squared plus 2, which is equal to b plus 2. And so therefore we have 8a has to be equal to b plus 2 for that continuity to hold. Secondly, we have to work out what h dash of x is equal to at x equals 2. So we have h dash of x is equal to these two functions. 3a x squared for x is less than 2 and 2b x minus 1 for x is greater than 2. And so that's our h, of x, h dash of x function, and therefore h dash of x at x equals 2 is going to produce either h dash of 2 equals 3a 2 squared, which is equal to 12a, or h dash of 2 is equal to 2b times x minus 1, um, which in this case obviously is 2b times 2 minus 1, which is just equal to 2b. And so therefore we get 12a is equal to 2b as equation number 2. Now this is pretty simple, simultaneous equations. So we have 8a is equal to b plus 2, and we have 12a is equal to 2b, and that's equation number one and equation number two. And hopefully with a little bit of rearrangement here, you can see that b is equal to 8a minus two, which gives us 12a is equal to two times 8a minus two. And that gives us 12a is equal to 16a minus four, which gives us negative four a is equal to negative four and a equals 1, and therefore at a equals 1, b is equal to 8a minus 2, which equals 6. So we have a equals 1 and b equals 6, 
and I'll bring this around to keep it nice and neat over to here and so therefore h of x is equal to these two functions a is 1 which means it's just x cubed and b is 6 which means it's 6 x minus 1 squared plus 2 and that's for x is less than 2 and this is for x is greater than 2 greater than or equal to 2 and consequently we have our h dash of x function is equal to 3x squared for x is less than 2 and 12x minus 1 plus well just 12x minus 1 for x is greater than or equal to 2 so I've gone to Desmos and as you can see here um, here is my two original functions and quite nicely they meet exactly what I was hoping just there so they are therefore continuous and meet that criteria and here is my two gradient functions and you can see that they also meet and so therefore it is differentiable so there's a couple extra definitions for you to consider